I don't want us to dwell too much on this so we can move on very quickly. Another reaction, Regina from Joss says, good afternoon, the boss. To me, it's not helping Nigerians. Can it change the price of food in the country? Oh, Regina, you are still talking about the national anthem. You better back <laughs> That is our national anthem now. Whether you like it or not, go and let it all, all right? <laughs> go and let it. It has been signed into law, okay? So, Arise O Compatriot is no longer our national anthem as Nigerians. All right, let's move on very quickly because of time to this very unfortunate incident, okay? I want us to talk about it because um, quietly, more and more Nigerian youths are resorting to ending their lives, you know, via suicide, for issues that, you know, could be resolved in other ways. And we want to talk about this increasing rate of suicides, especially amongst the young ones. And we are taking our template from a recent incident at the Ebony State University, where a final year student took her own life after repeatedly failing a particular course. She took the course again, second semester of her final year, and I learned because of that course, she has another extra year, and she just couldn't take it. She took her own life. It's a very sad um, story, uh, but we must talk about this issue because it's becoming a trend amongst the young ones. Uh, the other day too, I heard a student too who also took his own life because he failed an examination. All right, and then another day, this one was bullied and decided the way to go was to end her life. We need to talk about why, you know, suicide has become, you know, um, something our young people, you know, are taking um, with kids' gloves. I don't know. It's just a bad taste in my mouth, even talking about it. But we must talk about it. Now, this video is a very sad video to watch. So I must warn. Um, the mother of the girl took the cops back to the university, you know, uh, and took it to the school for the lecturer to do what he wants to do with it. Because uh, to her, the man was responsible for her child's death. <sighs> Let's take a look at this video. Uh, first of all, our heart goes out to um, the family of that girl. I'm keeping her name and her picture, you know, under wraps for, of course, you know, obvious reasons. Um, it's a very sad story. The school, Ebony State University, has since exonerated the lecturer and said the school and the lecturer are not responsible for her death. All right, so but um, the mother of the late girl believes that the actions of the lecturer led to her daughter's demise. Um, she was frustrated. She was supposed to be graduating, but she couldn't because of that one course she has been failing since her first year in school. And um, to her, the only way out was for her to take her own life. So... Um, as sad as the incident is, we must talk about it, Pastor Dolly. It's becoming worrisome. You know, this increasing rate of suicide amongst young Nigerians. How do we begin to let them see how sacred life is? How bowing out, you know, through suicide is not the answer to anything, you know, and um, the layers of sorrow it leaves behind you know and how do we begin to deliver this message to the young ones to the point where they begin to get it uh, 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 you see um, depression when we keep saying that depression which is a, a mental health issue mm. is real sometimes people don't seem to understand mm. that, you know there are always excuses people will make for things so, uh, but it's very real when people really don't have that much people to talk to. And when they even talk and uh, it's taken against them, mm. becomes a subject of uh, discussions, ridicule, mm. and all that. So it makes people to withdraw, make them not want to talk to people. 
Because if you don't talk to people when there is a problem, the possibility that you will take wrong action will be there. Mm -hmm. And one of those wrong actions is what we have seen. And when you are taking that wrong action, it does not ever occur to you that you are trying to avoid being hurt. But you get a hurt. There are so many people, mm -hmm. hundreds or thousands of people that are going to be hurt by your decision, by the action you that rash decision that you just think within that little thought that you just have. Mm. Because if you think far, you have thought of, okay, maybe I should have cried out to the school authority, let them remark my papers, oh. let you know, step in. Mm. I've seen people that have their papers remarked because the natural says you can never pass my course, especially girls. And they cry out, and the school authority set up panels to remark the, the, the papers. They marked and they saw that they, they passed, and the lecturers were laid off. Mm. But because she didn't discuss with people, probably, so she could not get the advice that was, you know, this is the right step to take. And maybe because of the kind of home she came from, too, where they are not probably educated, mm. they don't understand, they don't know the right counsel to give to her. They saw that, that lecturer as a God that cannot be conquered. Mm. So because the lecturer is a God that can be conquered, whatever he says, whatever mm. he does was final. So for her, she So failing the course was like the end of the road, of the road. for but her. It's not. Mm. We have seen people who would drop out of school, <laughs> who became least of yeah, in life. True that. Probably went back to school when they already succeeded part time. And you know they got they still were able to get all the academic Mm. Sorry, I'm butting in. There's a recent story about a girl who failed, a guy who failed woefully, couldn't get into any of the Nigerian universities, but then went on, went back to the studies and got for uh, a scholarship admissions, you know, to schools abroad. All right, so I'm trying to say there's nothing that is insurmountable. Yes. Nothing. It's taking one's life is never the never. answer to any problem, mm. any situation, because suicide or, or depression comes when you have no hope. All hope is gone. You just felt there is no hope. Mm. But there is always hope if you can look well. If you can really think, well, if you, sometimes you can allow other people to think for you, you will see that there's really hope mm. at the end of the tunnel. Mm. There is always light. Thank you, Pastor Dolly. Yeah. Because of our time, let me allow uh, Mr. Malik also have a say on this issue of uh, increasing rate of suicide. Really, uh, um, I have some mixed feelings. Mm. I'm almost like in tears. Mm. I really want to say to you, this topic needs to be treated more than this. This time is not enough for this time mm. because it's so huge, so much, so big that uh, the entire community system has so much in this. Mm. If you say she does not have a reason to take her life, are you sure that people who feel guilt or feeling she's having on her home, mm. you know, you will always be on, on your own when you're going through such emotional trouble. The whole world cannot might not see it. Nobody will be able to chat to you to, to help you at that moment. You don't be on your own and you are feeling like so so much like a failure. But you see that I, I really like the way you the approach you took about the entire thing. That part where you're able to speak out it's really the magic moment. Because when it comes to suicide it tends to isolate you and give you quick decisions towards that process. Mm. The moment you keep taking that step without tracking back to say, at least I've achieved one milestone or the other. Mm. At least God has been faithful in one area. Or the moment you don't remember that and you keep tracking mm. that, you will, before you know it, you have become. Mm. Because if you are alone at that moment, you, the, the, you see the whole world as being, oh, they've left me to myself. The people that have caused it might not even see what you're going through. The people that are around you that made that happen might not even see it. It's so, 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 so deep for me because I, I almost felt like I shouldn't talk about this, but to the, to the family of this little girl, I want to pray that people will surround them to really fight mm. this cause. Mm. 
that thing should be taken up to the court level. We need to investigate. Yes. If the school stand on that position, papers. prove it. Mm. Prove it. How can one person be failing your cause for years? There must be reason. There must be proof. You know, that, you see, that it's so, so, so deep in my heart that I'm mm. saying to every life. One of the reasons why you see the American system say, do not beat your child, is because to an extent, as a parent, you might not see that young, youthful psychological moment they are in because you are past mm. that age mm. and in your own time is different from their time. So what you will be expecting from that child will be different. So you'll be hammering more on the person, beating the person or saying you should be able to do this, you should be able to do more. But their world is different. So th that's one of the reasons why I And our individual said, capabilities are exactly, also different. That is, they, yeah. they, they put that thing of not beating the child mm. because you can add to that trauma that that person is going mm. through at that moment mm. unknowingly. Well, there's so many that yeah. accumulate for them to arrive at that you know, like you said, Mr. Malik, this calls for a deeper conversation because it's a very uh, sensitive and very vast issue. But, you know, I intentionally threw it in today because it's becoming worrisome, especially young people, you know, just think they can take their lives. A little problem, and the only thing is they want an escape route, and the escape route is you take your life. Please. There is always a solution to always. every problem. Even the Bible says, this too shall pass. There is nothing, no situation in life that is permanent, all right? Whether good or bad. If you're having a bad moment today, trust me, tomorrow will be a better day. Please don't resort to giving up. Because I know before, like you said, before you attempt suicide, it's a total state of hopelessness. Mm. And I know that each of us would have been to that level at one point or the other yeah. in our lives. Yeah. But if you can just hold on just one more day, more. just one more day, I'm telling you, look, I have young children and I'm scared, all right, because I see how my, even my own children react to issues. The way we were raised, we were raised with a thought you know it's like mm. water gliding off a mm. fish you know most things but they don't have the capacity to absorb a lot of things which makes me so scared all right they are not as tough as tough. we are so we have to be careful i'm talking to the parents now i'm talking to everybody in the society yeah. please the young ones around us sometimes when they misbehave they just want attention mm sometimes all they just want is someone to listen to them yeah. and someone to show that i know you exist and we care about you please let's look out for one another a lot is going on with so many people yeah. a lot they might not vocalize it but one day you just hear the person is gone mm. and then you have that feeling of guilt yeah. you know even if this lecturer has been exonerated by the school mm. I want to imagine how he's feeling at the moment, knowing that because of his cause, somebody took their life. I mean, it might not make sense, but when things like this happen, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. All right? It can never make sense to the mother of that child. It can never make sense to maybe the father of that child or maybe the family members, how that happened, but it has happened. She's gone, never to return. Please, to the young ones out there, if you're going through something, reach out to somebody yeah. anybody run to somebody on the street and just hold them mm. i'm sure someone will listen to you yeah. don't take your life please life is sacred please don't take your life once again to the family of that girl may god be with you thank you pastor dolly mm. yeah. well thank you pastor dolly thank you mr malik thank you everyone we'll see you next time Bye.